All right, I completely miss with that. I need to do well then because my, my, my two-way just completely missed. Alrighty, <laughs> yo, what is up, knights? Aegis Rick here, back with some more DFO Blitz, this time on my male striker. Now, guys, man, do I got a lot. Of, if you guys see the brush video of my male striker and then you look at this video, uh, it's going to be a lot of differing opinions, I assume. It's been so long since I've made those videos. But, guys, uh, we are currently here in the Valley of the Fallen Souls because i got to talk to you guys about something that is relatively new, uh, and it's not something I've really mentioned, but it's something I've been doing. Everybody in the grandma knows that my dailies include doing Tower of the Despair and Tower of Anguish. Now, uh, I have eight runs of those and then four runs of these. Uh, but the thing about Tower of Anguish now is that I used to run it to clear it 100 floors, and at the very, if, if I get to the top, uh, I'll have the materials I need to open up the pot that Simona's selling here that gives me a earring pot, which is what I would suggest getting. It's a guaranteed way to get a legendary earring at the very least, which is really good, a really good legendary earring. And if you're lucky like my uh, striker, my female striker was, you will get a Babylonian symbol and you'll just be set for life. So uh, earrings are just kind of a really, really easy way to increase your damage because the effects that you can get on them, at least with the legendary and higher earrings, are good. But that is not the reason why I suggest going into uh, it on this character. This is not the reason I'm going in on this character. The reason I'm going in on this character is um, for something that most likely will not drop, but I'm just going to mention it here. Uh, Any time, every single floor up the TO, uh, A here has a chance of dropping the... Uh, a, a weapon pot. Now, if a weapon pot drops, it's basically a guaranteed way for you to get a level 85, uh, uh, excuse me, a level 85 epic weapon at the minimum. It could be if you're as lucky as like my other characters, like my uh, Swift Master, like my Inquisitor. You could get a level 90, uh, in which case you're getting a basically a, one of the best in slot. Uh, items for your characters and it's really good on some characters especially those of you who have a really strong and I'm missing everything by the way this guy's dodging the shit out of me I took a nuclear but uh especially for characters who have really good best in slot uh, 90s uh, epic weapons this is gonna be awesome for that now this guy's making a fool of me because he is dodging like crazy oh my goodness. My god, dude, he was just like so evasive right there. <laughs> Usually I don't use the grab because I'm trying to do some cancels as you'll see here. That took way too long. I did not mean for that to take too long. But uh, every time you clear one of these floors, guys, you have a chance of getting. I did not get it, but uh, one of the rewards that you could get is a epic pot. A level 85 minimum epic pot. It could be the 90. So that's kind of why I like doing it. I like doing it on characters of which, uh, you know, might have like an 85 weapon or might have something, you know, on the fringe. Uh, you know, an 80 weapon, if you're doing TOD, you might have an 80 weapon. But this is a guaranteed 85, and if you're lucky, and I'm not even saying that lucky, guys. I'm saying, you know, there are characters I have here, like my Inquisitor, like I said, my Swift Master, who do have their level 90s, and it, they didn't do a single thing aside from that. They just randomly, look at this asshole. He's all the way down here, still got the level 90. Uh, because it's one of those things that is pretty good good odds of getting it. And even if you don't get the 90, right, you still get the 85, which is definitely worth it. Now, alrighty, guys. Okay, this is like the fourth time I've tried to record this this part of the video. Look at my FP. Okay, that's how much FP I've gone through every single This is my fourth time. So hopefully it goes through this time. Seriously, I don't know what's going on. Currently looking at my gear right now, I'm rocking a Dusky West set. You guys have seen this set on a lot of my characters now. It's slowly becoming one of my favorite sets solely because of its versatility as a quest legendary level 85 set. A lot of people will suggest Gracia, but in this case, I think, uh, especially in this case, the male striker actually benefits a lot from one of the effects that the Dusky West set gives, and that is levels to his first awakening. Any class that really relies on the first awakening as like a transformation class, like Avenger or something like that, can benefit from Dusky. And this guy, 
as we will soon see, really benefits from that. Uh, I have a Nova, which is what I got from the TOA, uh, but uh, I actually got this after I'd already gotten Dusky Set. It would have synergized really well with the Gracious Set, but uh, you know, we're still going to be fine. I'm going to show you guys the Dusky Set is really good. But uh, guys, let me sell some stuff since my previous recordings have been a bust. Alrighty, so one thing that, uh, as we go into uh, King difficulty, I want to explain a little bit of the differences between the male and the female. Uh, Strikers and actually all of the male and female fighter classes in general uh, He's gonna be relying on his first awakening. That's the main thing in fact most of the dungeons that are Normal dungeons like you know raid and pretty much any dungeon that isn't TOA and stuff You're gonna be using this because if you didn't in comparison to the female version He's gonna be pretty gimped and so uh, In fact, that's one of the things I noticed the most out of most of the male fighter classes I remember on this guy specifically I remember on my male grappler uh, especially that they had some serious MP issues. It's one of the only classes in the game where I felt like that was a, an issue I had to worry about all of a sudden because, man, did I, did I start running out of MP on these characters. So when you have the first awakening up, you're going to be reducing your MP cost, your skill damage is going to go up, everything is going to be better for you. So obviously uh, you're going to need that if you're not trying to lose your MP. Another thing that you're going to be seeing me do a lot, and one of the reasons I'll be talking about this shortly, but the, the flash move is such an awesome move on this character. All of the uh, male fighters get access to this move, but only the... Uh, I did not kill that person in time. Only the male striker has access to cancel it multiple times. I mean, he has infinite casts of this skill. Uh, so long as I use a muscle shift to cancel out of it. So uh, that's another thing to uh, write home about this character is that I really love the uh, ability to do that with the flash move. And it's something the female striker does not have. So uh, there's a lot of things you could do with it. I mean, you can use it to uh, obviously travel along the x-axis like this. You can also use it to... Uh, uh, cancel some of the delays on some of your attacks you're gonna have the stronger attacks like spin kick which have like a kind of pushback where you can negate the pushback and instead get a push forward so long as you remember to use a flash move and you have infinite cast of that so you'll always have it available even after your dragon kick which is usually a really slow attack you can use a flash move to kind of reduce the after cast delay so you're gonna see this pushback I can kind of remove the pushback and cancel it and get a little bit of that forward so good good players who use the uh, flash move honestly uh, are really gonna be you're gonna notice the difference between like a scrub like me and somebody who's really good at using the flash move because you can get some really good combos yeah it's double usage like I just said you can use it to cancel on the x-axis get a whole bunch of distance and almost any of your skills you use can you know if, if you screw it up like I did there it goes on cooldown so don't try to try not to screw it up but yeah you're gonna be able to cancel skills you're gonna be able to travel faster it just makes the class so much more smooth and it's a really tiny thing uh, but I, I think it's a really awesome effect another thing right there I just used it right there the lightning dance man this guy's lightning dance is pretty sick um, it actually reminds me of a time because I've known about his lightning dance for a really long time because I've always said since the beginning of time that lightning dance is the best support skill in the universe. Um, and that goes for male and female. I say the female is probably better for most of the stuff I was using it for, which is leveling. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say support skill back in the day in DFO, <laughs> man, it was a golden age back in the day in DFO because you used to be able to call in your, your alternate characters, in this case the strikers, and call in a support skill, one of them. And in this case, it was Lightning Dance for this guy, and he could uh, use it as a grouping skill, and that's really what he, he uses it here for. And it's really nice to have it. You know, this 10 second cooldown, group up pretty much all enemies uh, on the map. You know, it, it has some great Y axis coverage. I mean, you, you've seen it already, it just kind of groups up enemies, and I already have it available. So, um, anytime there's, you know, I probably wouldn't use it here, but anytime there's a lot of enemies on the map, that are kind of spread out. You can kind of use this to uh, traverse uh, and, and, and get everybody. So I don't know if it's going to reach. Yeah, it's not going to go downstairs. It doesn't have the best range, but it has some really good range. And you can imagine, since a lot of its moves are really strong and really linear like that, uh, you're going to need a move like that, and it's really low on cooldown. Now, the damage is uh, only good. I would say the more enemies there are, the better damage it does, you know, because it groups up all the enemies and then hits them with a singular kick at the very end of the animation. And I just screwed up the flash move cancel there. Uh, it uses a singular kick at the end of the animation, which hits all the enemies that were grouped up. In the female striker's case, her damage actually decreases depending on 
um, how many people there are. So if there are less people, it actually does more damage, which is kind of easy to see why it does full damage every time. And if there are more enemies, it kind of divvies up the damage, where in this case, it groups up enemies. Uh, if there's only one enemy on the field, like say you're fighting against a boss, uh, then the lightning dance all of a sudden really sucks because it only hits one time. So you're not getting the full damage of your lightning dance because uh, you're only hitting one time. Now, uh, I haven't done a damage comparison, but that's what it looks like. And that's kind of why I like the female striker's lightning dance a little bit better. So Another thing uh, I'm sure you guys are going to mention, he does have an explosion attack with his first awakening. Uh, it does a little bit of damage, enough to kill maybe these trash mobs here, but uh, it also buffs up your big, huge skills, which are your dragon kick and your atomic punch. This is atomic punch. You can charge it up. Bagoosh! And then the dragon kick, you guys already know those two. Uh, pretty much staple moves on this character. Uh, of course, you're going to want to muscle shift those, cancel those to get the real damage, but, you know, it's enough to kill these trash mobs. I'm not worried about it. Bagoosh! Ton of damage there. And yeah, that's kind of the differences between the male and female. I think the female is still a lot faster than this character. Um, I don't really know which one I would say has the better AoE. They both have pretty awful AoE. They, they kind of have to... This guy really has to rely on his grouping potential. And the female striker probably has to rely on her lightning dance as well just to hopefully kill everybody. If you can make it work, though, if you can make the lightning dance work, uh, all of a sudden it becomes a really good skill. I remember back in the day... Uh, the best set to get was Brutal Tango because it buffed up your lightning dance and it was a really golden age like I mentioned and I missed the combo there so hopefully I can get this one. Two way cancel. Didn't kill. Not close enough though. Okay good. So you gotta get good at using the muscle shift and that involves something, a layer of complexity with the flash move and guys I gotta bring it up again, the flash move, seriously I didn't talk about the flash move all that much I don't think in the DFO rush video about this guy, but the flash move is one of those tiny things that I feel like every character in the game should have, just a tiny thing to separate in between all of the other classes. Um, and that's one of them. It's one of those things where you don't need to, to use it to be to play this class effectively. I don't need to hit the flash move a single time. But the people who do use it are kind of abusing the class more. They're using it better, uh, and it's just something you can just improve on. You know, I'm not very good myself as I went the wrong way. My directional skills aren't the very best either. But I'm not very good at using it myself. But all of a sudden, you know, if I did practice it. Uh, you know, it would separate me between just the mediocre players who play this class and, you know, the people who've been playing it for a long time. You know, it gives you something to, to better yourself at, it, whether it be combos or moving on the x-axis or, or just building up a muscle memory to play the class more smoothly. I love that. I love that idea. Oh, shit. I just accidentally casted my second away game. Look at the grouping, man. You see, this is what I was saying. The grouping potential of that skill is massive. It just grouped everybody on the fucking map, dude. That was sick. Uh, but yeah, I just kind of wish everybody had that ability. Or not that ability, but some type of thing to separate them. To just, you know, make them a little bit different than your run-of-the-mill characters. And I'm getting fucking comboed here. Uh, who just worry about casting skills. You know, give, give them a tiny thing like Flash Move, like this. And make them, you know, have something that they can practice. Uh, to, to set them apart and it, it helps them doubly like I said I mean this is a tiny skill but it helps them in x-axis movement and in skill canceling like come on who would complain about having a system like that as we have some really strong muscle shift combos shit I didn't even need the awakening but yeah I mean that's kind of what I'm talking about when I say complexity guys I mean this is the kind of thing I mean it doesn't have to be a big deal just something that you can practice on and, you know cancel your skills you know that's pretty cool so uh, anyway uh, and I know you can do some really cool combos I've seen videos of combos that people do that are just styling for no reason <laughs> and they're all using flash move like that so anyway guys thanks for watching there was a little bit of the male striker action hopefully this recording goes through because I've already used half my FP trying to make a damn video today uh, I guess I got some practice on my flash move in the meantime but anyway guys thanks for watching and I will catch you nights <laughs> later